Hi, in this video, I am going to show you how fluid flow velocity is measured using a pitot tube. Consider a horizontal fluid flow below a solid surface where the fluid is flowing from left to right with a constant velocity, v. To measure the static pressure of the flow, a piezometer is placed on the solid surface. Due to the static pressure on the solid surface, fluid enters the piezometer up to a certain level, a. Let's say it is at a height h1 above a point 1 in the flow. With this difference of height, the pressure at point 1 can be calculated, knowing the pressure at A is atmospheric pressure, P at TM. Stagnation pressure at a point can be measured by means of a pitot tube. As the opening of the tube is facing the flow, more pressure pushes the fluid to enter the tube, up to a higher level than A. Let's say at point B. It is at a height of H2 from point 2. Point 2, which is at the inlet of the pitot tube, is called stagnation point. Here the velocity is zero. The stagnation pressure P2 can be calculated, knowing the height H2 and the atmospheric pressure at B. Now we apply Bernoulli's equation to points 1 and 2. The velocity is zero at the stagnation point 2. Hence, we cancel V2 from the equation. We assume the velocity of the flow to be uniform. Let's draw an arbitrary reference line. As it is a horizontal flow, the elevation of point 1 is the same as point 2. Hence, Z1 and Z2 cancel each other. Here the Bernoulli's equation has been simplified. By rearranging the equation and substituting P1 and P2, we obtain the expression of V square over 2G, which is the difference between H2 and H1. Let's name it H. Hence the velocity of the flow is equal to the square root of 2GH. Let's summarize. H1 is the pressure head shown by the level of fluid in a piezometer. It is related to the static pressure at the indicated location. H equals V square over 2G is the velocity head. It is the difference of fluid level in the pitot tube and piezometer. It is related to the dynamic pressure at the indicated location. H2 is the sum of the pressure head, H1 and the velocity head, H. It is given by the pitot tube, and is related to the stagnation pressure at the indicated location. The fluid velocity V can be obtained by knowing the difference of fluid level in the pitot tube and piezometer H. This fluid velocity is obtained in ideal conditions, where there is no loss in a steady, incompressible flow. In reality, losses at piezometer and pitot tube, and friction losses on all surfaces, need to be considered, as well as compressibility and unsteady effects of the flow. Hence, a correction factor must be included to obtain a relatively accurate value of the velocity. This correction factor is determined from experiments. Note that the height from a reference line to the fluid level in a piezometer point A is called hydraulic grade line HGL. It is the line that represents the sum of elevation head and pressure head. The height from a reference line to the fluid level in a pitot tube, point B, is called energy grade line, EGL. It is the line that represents the total head, or the sum of elevation, pressure and velocity heads. The difference between the EGL and the HGL is the velocity head. There are several types of pitot tube. 
This is a simple pitot tube. It is used to measure stagnation pressure only. This is a static source which is used to measure static pressure only. And this is a pitot-static tube to measure both stagnation and static pressures. Pitot tubes are widely used in the aviation to measure the air velocity outside of an aircraft. Here the pitot tube is shown at different location on an aircraft's.